all these shots were made in Blender. And in seven days, I want to be able to claim that I have successfully learned this software by following this basic plan. First, I want to complete an in-depth beginner's tutorial to learn the basics. Then I'll be designing three complex models from scratch. And as a final test, I'll be creating a 3D anime classroom, much like these professional projects right here. And with the use of a community post, my viewers will get to vote for whichever project they think is mine. And if the majority correctly sniff out my scene, then I'll be chowing down on these four eggs. Raw. So without further ado, let's begin. Now I needed to find a solid tutorial, so I went searching in the most reliable source of information on the internet, read it, and everyone seemed to be saying the same thing. So I went looking for this infamous donut tutorial and oh my god, five hours? Nevertheless, I began the grind, and even though it was only one measly donut, I was going to make the best measly donut the world has ever seen. I got stuck. I'm like roughly two hours into the tutorial, uh, I don't know how to progress any further, and with every passing second, my monitor gets just this little bit closer to flying out my fucking window. Thankfully, the creator of this donut tutorial has a discord that can apparently help me out. The monitor lives another day. Now the guys on the discord were actually very helpful, and with their aid I was able to continue with the donut until finally at the day's end I had completed the tutorial. Okay, let's keep it in our pants, buddy. Day one is now coming to a close, but there's one more thing I want to do before snuggling up with Winnie and catching some Z's. Oh, you thought I was joking? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Now what I want to do before the end of today is tell you about my motivation for learning Blender. Because for me to survive the whole week, I need a reason to keep me going. So first and foremost, I want to improve my anime edits. Secondly, I need to improve my anime edits. Everyone is just improving so damn fast and it's pissing me off. I feel like I'm in one of those high school movies where the bullies are ganging up on the scrawny nerd. And I don't want to be the nerd. I want to be the bully. So it's life and death really. If I can't make it through this week, then you're a pussy. Wait, what? Oh, what the hell, man? Don't sneak up on me like that. It is now time for level two, where I'll be creating a series of complex models. Now, as mentioned before, I'm trying to learn Blender to improve my anime edits. So all these models will be based around anime themes. In total, I selected Kakashi's Ambu Mask, the robot from 86, and Tanjiro's sword, as they're each quite different and will allow me to sharpen my general Blender skills. No pun intended. Now, since I am so obsessed with swords right now, hey, yo. not those type of swords, how about we start with Tanjiro's sword? Attacking the task from head on was proving to be a little overwhelming, so I began by breaking the sword up into three bite-sized sections. The handle, the guard, and the blade. Doing it like this also allowed me to build off of what I was creating. And something important that every tutorial was telling me to do was to always use reference images. In fact, one guy said it was the most important thing, which I think is a little bit odd. Personally, I'd have put like eating or breathing above that, but each of their own. Back to the sword, progress was coming along great! Haha! <laughs> no it wasn't. Creating the general shapes wasn't too difficult, but adding the finer detail was where I really started to struggle. Tanjiro's sword has these diamond shaped indents along the handle that I just had, I had no idea where to start with. So I went looking for some tutorials, but... Hey buddy, it's a little fast. You mind slowing it down? I can't really tell what's going on. I had to compromise some of the details and just make do with the knowledge that I had. And eventually, I completed the sword and rendered out this still image. Now don't ask me why the handle is naked. I don't know either. The goal for today is to complete our final two models, the cat mask and the robot. Now I left the robot for last cause like um... <laughs> fuck off. So I began with the cat mask, beginning with a sphere and then branching out from there. Now I actually really enjoyed creating this cat mask because it was relatively straightforward. I only wish you could have seen it because the footage crashed. Good thing the audio file saved though. Whew. That's a relief. 
So instead, I'm here in Blender after the fact to show you some of the progress. So I started with a plane, then by using the extrusion tool along the edges, I was able to create new vertices, which I'd then select, press S to scale, then press Y to scale them along the Y axis until every vertice was in its proper place. I then shifted along to the texture paint tab and this was pretty cool. I was essentially just painting straight onto the model. So as you can see, I tried my best to recreate Kakashi's red painting marks and finally finishing it off by keyframing a little spin before rendering out and oh my God, can we get this some lube? Why is it so stiff? And all right, now it's time for this abomination. Okay, so the plan is to try and do this all myself without the help of any tutorials. But if I need them, well, then I won't hesitate to use them. What, you think I'm gonna suffer for a YouTube video? Who do you think I am? So I began the modeling process, making very slow but steady progress. The body shape was coming along great, the legs looked uh, acceptable, and the turret? <coughs> I'm not compensating. Shut up. There were plenty of difficulties, however, things that just weren't turning out how I hoped they would. So you bet the temptation to hop on the tutorial train was strong, but my determination to show you guys that I could do this all by myself was stronger. Wait, it's not like anyone will know if I use a tutorial. They're not here right now. Maybe I can just... In the end, I didn't use any tutorials. The robot is entirely my own work. Yeah, I can tell. And... Fuck that guy. The moment has arrived. It is now time for the anime classroom, the finale. Oh, and by the way, it's day five. Uh, we skipped over day four because I was just having a moment. <laughs> Now obviously this is a decently big project. Creating an entire classroom comes with a lot of little moving parts. There's the desks, the chairs, the whiteboard, bookcases, school bags, etc, etc. So I will be utilizing the help of a site called Sketchfab where you can download pre-existing models. But don't worry, I won't rely entirely on these pre-made models because that'd be cheating. I made sure to make at least 50% of it. The whiteboard, the chalk, shelf, cupboards, walls, and window planes. But we'll leave it here today, we made some great progress, and then we can finish it off tomorrow in day 6. It is now day 6, and I am running out of outfits to show to the camera. I thought about reusing my outfit from day 1, but I don't want to look like an idiot. Now I did most of the work yesterday, so today's focus is really just on the lighting. And if I'm going to be honest, going into this, I was dreading the lighting because it seemed like so complicated. But all I had to do was just click a button and boom, there's the sun. It's such a simple step, but if you ask me, it adds about like 60% of the professionalism. The profession. It adds like 60% of the profession. It. Jeez. It adds like six. It adds. Oh my god. It just makes it. It makes it look cool. Okay. It makes it look cool. And with that, the project is complete. And now it is my honor to reveal to you all the finished anime classroom. Hey, wait a minute. That's not the classroom. Hey, that's weird. It almost looks like the logo of vidIQ, the sponsor of today's video. Now, if you go to the link in the description and sign up, then you can get your first month of vidIQ for only $1. Now, why would you even want to get vidIQ? That's a great fucking question, let me answer it. vidIQ is a personalized tool designed for YouTubers to help grow your channels and get more views. It's one of those tools that I didn't think I needed until I started using it, and now I don't know how I lived without it. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a writer. I could sit down for hours and only manage to write up one paragraph. Uh, this was today's. But with vidIQ's AI coach, I can write my scripts way faster and make them much better. It's essentially ChatGPT, but for your YouTube channel. It's great. So if you're serious about growing your channel or looking to start one, then feel free to head to the link in the description and sign up for your first month, again, for only $1. And now, here is the actual anime classroom reveal. Not too bad, huh? So as mentioned at the start of the video, I'm now going to put my anime classroom along with three other anime classrooms into a community post. An omelette? 
you guys vote for which one you think is mine. Now, I'm hoping you're all fucking clueless, because the thought of scranning a raw egg is... Ugh, guess I just gotta keep my sunny side up. <laughs> oh, what the... Hi. It's like a bland pile of worms. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy's hair is a mess. <laughs> what, did he just wake up? <laughs> yeah. But alright, it has been a little over 48 hours. The votes are in. We've got a total of 875 votes. <sighs> oh boy. So my classroom was at option one. So just anything but option one. Oh boy, I'm actually getting nervous. Yeah, baby. Suck my nut. Sorry about that, sorry, but uh, 67%, that is too big to be a coincidence. Everyone, or most people, thought that it was number three. I wonder why that is. Maybe something to do with the lighting, or lack of, or something to do with the quality, maybe? It's not as saturated as the others, that might be a reason. But mine only got 12% of the votes. So I guess that's no raw egg for me. Let's fucking go. But I mean, with that all being said, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.